Hey, hey, we've got a couple of promotions in order, so that's good. So, what we got here? So, Kida now can go to either Blade Master or Phantom. Now, this is the upgrade that is actually quite good for a Ranger to have. Um, it basically means when a squad is revealed, um, this soldier remains concealed. Even when you start a mission where you're revealed as well, um, they'll actually be concealed, which is really good to have. The other one is Blade, um, which means you have um, two extra attack and, and two extra aim. But I'm going to go for Phantom. I always like getting it. So, Akida can uh, go with that one, which is good. Uh, we also have Molly, which now can go for... Is it Shredder or Blast Padding? Blast Padding just gives you an armor and 6 uh, less damage from explosive attacks, which is actually not too bad. And Shredder, basically, you remove armor. Um, I think early on... I want to go for Shredder, just because I think it eventually will start coming up against enemy units. Um, which will be fine. And then we've also got another sharpshooter. Okay, that's fine. So at least we know we've got plenty of sharpshooters. I think we've got like two of each now. <laughs> which is fine. We also got the auto loader there, trigger the other day from the loot we picked up. And we also got the uh, Ernest here, who can be our first scientist. Second, I guess, if you count uh, Targon here. <laughs> the data pad, I think we can research for Intel, I believe it is. Considering the we got some more intel anyway from the job. Nice. Okay, so research time has been decreased by 33%. That's uh, very useful. A Tigan, that's it. Right, so with that done, I want to get some more squaddies. So we're going to um, get this four days done with first. Uh, Commander, after our recent success, members of resistance in New Mexico have bought or brought us uh, of activity we moved, so we can get some, some more supplies. But I'm going to go and get the recruits first because I've already started anyway, and I want to make sure I get some. I, I'm not sure how many you get. I think it's maybe three or four. I think it depends really. Um, the more the better, anyway. I always say we'll get the resistance communication research done as well. I have made a number of interesting. Okay, so that's now researched. So we can actually now build that. Uh, get some resistant comms. Uh, okay, so we've got um, the sectoid autopsy. We can do the decrypt for the data pad, which will give us some intel. Um, armor plates, we ain't got the alloys for yet. So I'm going to do the advent officer. The advent officers appear to be similar. If not so get that research done. Um, and I think that leads to, it basically leads to the next part of the quest. Um, or the story, I guess you would more or less argue with it. I must admit, having successful so we'll... Commander. We can now work to establish contact with the oh yeah, because we got the resistance thing up and running. Alright, so now we've got the resistance uh, research, we can actually move to these two. Um, which will give us access to black site, but first I want to get some more rookies. Okay, so we actually got three, which is good. So we get... oh no, four, oh no, three, yeah. So we got Raymon, Rorit, and Denisha. Very nice indeed. Um, so that means what I can do, and if, something I did mention, I think, last session, I did want to start naming people after um, subscribers and people who want and leave comments and stuff. Um, and I do actually have a, a number of people that I want to do that with, so I'm going to spend some time now um, just renaming people. Um, generally, I would like to do it at the start of a uh, playthrough, but generally, obviously, because I just come back and start again, I wanted to give some time for the first couple of uh, episodes to go up and then go through the naming process. So I will actually go in now and look at the soldiers. So I'm going to start from basically the top and work my way down. Um, so we're going to start with the sharpshooter. Generally, I would always kind of like get people to say what they would, which people they'd like to be. Would they like to be a sharpshooter class, a ranger class? I can always like respec. I think later on down the line. Um, but what we can do actually is go into customization, and you can actually change a lot about these characters. So I could randomize it as well. But I'm going to leave most of the main stuff the same. Um, I'm not going to too much of that, but it's, it's the main, the character info that is the bit that I want to do is the name. So this might take a bit of time. Um, biography, okay. Okay, so the first one I'm going to pick with is, um, we'll go with Tom Morrison here. Uh, some people have generic names when it comes to their YouTube, which is fine. Um, like I said, mine's not my generic name, but uh, everyone's to their own, I guess, in that situation. So let's go with that one so Tom Morrison 
There we go. So you've been named. And I'll basically keep track of who I've named. So if you have obviously been picked as someone and you die, I'm not going to let you then come back in again until uh, probably if I do another playthrough again. Just simply because the idea is that once you die, that's it. You should be dead. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to come back and be renamed as someone else. Um, I will try and keep maybe genders similar to obviously what the names are. If it's a very ambiguous name, which isn't, it's like gender neutral name, I guess. Um, then I'll probably not change the gender but obviously if it sounds like a female name or sounds like a male name then I'll, I'll try and change it specifically to that one if possible uh, but anything else I'll, I'll pretty much leave the same so that's the first one down so we've got one down um, and we've got plenty more to go um, so that is fine by me so we've got uh, Kida so female name let's see who we can find here so let's customize character info let's see who we can get here um, who could we pick on my list? Oh, oh there's actually someone here. Uh, Mary. Mary Ann. It's a first name. And we'll also have it's Deem. Uh, hopefully, some of these names I can pronounce. Obviously, Mary Ann's quite an easy one to to uh, to do, so that's fine. Um, so that works for me. So we got Corporal Mary Ann Deemerite. Okay, let's move that out there. So that's two down. Just realized how many people we've got to go, but I guess if I do it every so often anyway, uh, we've got 12 in total now, I think. Or is it 11? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, yeah, because we've got three more, so we've got 11. Okay, Molly, let's get you renamed up. This might take a bit of time to go through anyway, um, just because of the way it works. Uh, okay, who can we go for here? Uh, let's go for infinite log there we go infinite obviously it's not probably a last name I, I get the idea about that but still nonetheless I'm going to just do that just because it's easier that way again you don't have to have a last name you can just put a and you can also obviously put a nickname eventually um, once they level up enough uh, you're gonna be uh, a nice Irish woman so hopefully you'll appreciate that um, Infinite log. Uh, okay, let me go here. Customize. Go into character here. So, what's the next one? Uh, we'll have Connor Wills. There we go. Oh, no, it's Connor, not Connor. Um, Connor Wills. Hello, welcome to the team, Connor. Okay, we've got Brad. So we're going to rename Brad. He was one of the first ones that kind of always comes up. That's uh, always going to be quite fun to do. So let's get you changed around. Uh, what are we going to go with with you? Okay, we have got a tool. Uh, we'll have you. There's no actual second name or anything, so you're just going to be named a tool. I'm just going to get rid of your back name because you don't need. Uh, oh, he's not going to let me do that. Oh, that's that's. I'm just going to put a tool L um, just to <laughs> kind of so I can put it. I guess you have to have a last name, weirdly enough, so it won't remove it. Um, so we'll just work with that. Um, that's fine. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, who else are we going to have? Little, little a lunch. Okay. Little. Lunch, there we go. Boom. Um, no, I keep always clicking load out. It's just makes something so much more difficult here. Um, okay, uh, let's have a look. So, RJ Rouse. RJ. And then you got the Rouse. Welcome to the team there, right, RJ? That would be actually quite easy to remember, I think, uh, compared to most people. Simple little abbreviation names like TJ or RJ. Um, are very uh, easy to remember, I always find. Uh, okay. Let's get some more customization done. Uh, let's have a look here. We've got Andy Taras. And again, if, if I name you part of a character, um, in here and you want to have any details changed about your character then please let me know like I said 
any nationality, gender, if you want the character's look to be changed, you can just randomize it quite a lot as well. Um, obviously with Andy here, I'm going to change the gender to a male, um, just because it, it makes a bit more sense here. I'm not, um, I'm going to be getting confused when I'm looking at a character thinking, hold on, Andy, hmm, suspicious. Okay, cool, we've got three more to name. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we've got Bo Doga. Bo Doga. Okay. I'm just going to call you Bo and then have Doga at the end because it is one word, but otherwise I'm just going to have with. Uh... But I will try and remember that your name actually is Bo Doga, is in a sense of it's all one word. Um, we'll change you to a male character as well. You can be a black Nigerian, Bo Doga. Hopefully you're happy with that. Okay, uh, let's move in. Um, customize character from India. Oh, we've got an Indian chap. Uh, who can we have here? Who else we got on our little list here? Um, we've got Chads for Life. Okay, uh, that's uh, Chads. And then we'll put four, and then I'll put life at the end. Um, there we go. Let's hope you are a Chad for life. If you disappoint me, and you, well, I guess if you disappoint me enough, you'd be dead, so it won't make much difference. So we got the last one, Ramon. Okay, let's get you changed over, Mr. Ramon. Let's have a look here. Who can we have for the last one? Um, Oh, we got the Rodrigo. We'll have that. That works. Rodrigo Chavez. Oh, it's actually limited on characters as well. That's quite disappointing. Uh, I will apologize for that if I don't get the entire name in. Because um, it actually is it's Rodrigo Chavez de Nadia. Nadia. Um, but I don't think it will let me put the entire. Oh, maybe it might. That works, yeah. Okay, so Rodrigo Chavez de Nadia. Um, so there we go. We've got all our lovely people named now. If we had more on, what I'll do is I'll wait till I get enough, and then I'll rename them, or if I'll rename them as I if I remember and as I go. But these are all the people that we've got now into the group, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so welcome to my XCOM playthrough. If you die. It's all your fault, never my mistake. Um, I will take no fault or blame if your character dies. Um, it's all on you guys for failing me for not dealing with the situation. Um, but, so let's go back. We've got that all done nicely, which is great. So what we've got, we've got the grill tactics in two days. We've got the clearing and debris in another three days, which is fine. So I guess we just have to maybe to make a contact, I think that's probably the better idea here. Takes three to five days and 40 intel. But I need to do that so I can go to the black site. Okay, so how long is it going to take here? Four days? Hmm, not bad. Okay, so this will be done. There we go, we've got the Grilled Taxic School. Fantastic. So the Great Tactics Schools is, is fantastic. One is that it gives you the ability to train people up straight away. So Bodoga is going to go. And you actually get to choose who you want. So if you look into your list of um, operatives, or soldiers, depending on how you want to look at it, you can kind of like separate people out and say, okay, we've got two Grenadiers, two Rangers, two Sharps, two Specialists. So you can go, right, I want another um, Specialist. So you can actually get someone to be a specialist. And this is obviously where people can request sometimes what they want to be, if I haven't kind of like trained them up to be something. Um, but I'm going to put as Bodoga in for a upgrade here. It does mean over a bit of time it takes to um, upgrade your character. Uh, so Bodoga, yep. And I'm going to have you be a specialist. It's going to take five days to train you. But that's fine, I'll, I can sit that out for five days. And it saves taking into mission as well, so it gets you the first upgrade. Uh, which is always nice, and then this is the tactics bit. So this is this is the cool thing that you can start getting. So um, after a bit of time, we need supplies, but once you get a, a certain requirement, so in case for a lot of these, it's like vultures, like um, corporal, I think, and then the rest of these, I think, are like as you can see here, sergeant, 
lieutenant, captain, major. Um, and then obviously when you get a certain class as well, you can get these upgrades. So the first one I want to try and get, if I can hopefully push my way that way, is get the squad size. And then also the other one is uh, wet works, which is more experience for kills, which means you guys level up quicker. Um, and I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, yeah, and then obviously you have vulture as well, which means you get an additional drop item. But they all require different things. A lot of them it's just basic supplies, which is nice, but you do need also the required level of um, soldier to get there. Um, so we just need to get someone up to that point, which is fine. Uh, we you, did finish building with the engineer. So what I need to do now is um, think what else I can build. So I do want to get the advanced warframe center um, that's the next point of call, and that's because it's um, it can be staffed by an engineer, though. Mm. I might need that one down, actually. But yeah, you can staff it with an engineer, and it, it wants to complete, and it means it can... Um, yeah, it's... Oh, that's resistant comms. What am I doing about? Advanced Warframe Center. Um, engineer can staff it to decrease the time a soldier's uh, recovery from injuries. So it's like... Um, so I'd either want it here or here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, then, is try and speed up uh clearing some debris here because the idea i want a power relay here a workshop here and then i'll put a advanced warframe center there so we'll get that done so patrick get moving so it's going to take 10 days there um this one will finish here so lucy will be done and then i can move her on to something else and i will get some supplies which would be good that's fine what do you know about these gene therapy clinics having worked in one of the facilities okay so let's get this done so that's that done we've got 51 supplies unmatched by any previous and i can build resistance cons but i do want to get the advanced warfare so i'm just going to wait a bit longer so i'm going to put um just to clear out this one as well yes the price of admission is acceptance of all advent policy there we go so 10 days to vote for these which would be nice minor inconvenience at most i'm beginning to see the appeal commander okay we've got retaliation oh this is always fun currently under siege by the aliens give the word and we'll move out okay so commander advent has discovered one of our resistance havens they are targeting innocent civilians in the reprisal strike so because i'm obviously resisting um obviously the advent control they're now doing reprisals against my little safe spaces um and basically killing and murdering civilians which is never nice. So I can ignore this, but I do think there's a massive negative consequence for doing it. So I'm going to have to launch an attack. Um, obviously, it is in New Mexico, so let's head there. Just as we're about to finish the uh, resistance contact, which is typical. Um, that's fine. I can come back to that and finish it. Um, okay, so let's remove all these guys. Let's make all utility items available and more armor available. Okay, so Tom Morris is still injured. And I do want to get a character up to, if I can, um, the next level. So I'm going to take uh, Maria Ann here. And I'm also going to take a Grenadier from the top two. And then I'm going to move down and take a Specialist. RJ, you can come along. And then do I take a Rookie or do I get a another Grenadier? So what have I got? I've got Ranger, Grenadier, Specialist. Normally I take a Sharpshooter. Just for the distance shots. Um, but I'm tempted to take a second Grenadier or a Ranger. Um, so we'll do that. Okay. So I will change. So what we've got here. So I need to change the weapons out. So let's make all weapons available here. Let's get you over that one. We do actually have some hair triggers, which is actually useful now. So let's have a look what upgrades we've got. So yeah, when you find these, you can upgrade them. So you get a bonus action chance, you've got free reload. The reload is absolutely fantastic, um, I believe, on most. Um, especially weapons that don't have a lot of, um, basically a lot of ammo in the magazine. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, let's have a look here. What does the shotgun have? Is it four? Uh, let's have a look at the weapon here. So it has f four clip size, so it would mean I just get a free reload, uh, which is fine. It means you can basically run down an ammo clip and, and deal with it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is give you a flashbang. And you can take a medkit. You can take the grenades, that's fine. 
Um, so I'm just trying to think, do I do upgrade anything just yet with the weapons-wise? Because uh, once you upgrade them, you can't take them back off. And if you change your mind what you want for a weapon, um, I think this one is like a bonus action chance you can get. So yeah, bonus action or free reload. Um, bonus action is not too bad. If you kind of do it. Um, chance of the shot will not cost an action in the turn. It's 5%, which isn't a lot, but it does happen on some occasions. And then you got the free reload, which is a guaranteed. Um, so what I think I'm do is I'll put the three re reload onto the cannon. Just because the cannon only has, if you see, three clip size. So it's more likely to have to be reloaded more often. And I'd rather put that on there. Um, and get the upgrade. Uh, so we'll get that one on. So we'll upgrade the weapon. Free reload. So it's not a loader. There we go. And then we'll leave the bonus action chance for now, I think. I don't know what. No, screw it. I'll put it on a shotgun. It is useful to have. Um, it just means that if I get a kill with a shotgun, there's a chance it doesn't take a, uh, an action point, and then I can have another go if I miss. Um, and then we've got the flashbang, so I think we're good to go.